to uh, to prove the referendum law to vote if Catalonia should be yes or no independent. Yeah, and uh, the Spanish government said no many times. They refused. They denied um, this uh, change of the law, saying you know that um, the constitution is untouchable, and because of that, that law should not be existing. Um, then we have now elected democratically a pro-independence government and the goal for this um, government was to declare the, uh, um, the referendum at the yes or no but just to vote to do our uh, democratic rights. So on the 1st of October, um, after um, a very intense uh, parliamentary day, uh, all absolutely democratically done, which was approved referendum law by a majority. Uh, on the 1st of October, basically, 10,000 policemen and paramilitary agents were um, de deployed in Catalonia to physically stop the people from voting. Yeah? Um, people of all ages were assaulted by the Guardia Civil and the Policía Nacional, the National Police, uh, carrying axes and sledges hammers uh, the Guardia Civil smashed uh, their way into the polling stations and confiscated ballot boxes, often a brutal attacks on voters and election workers. 844 people were injured and eight, uh, 128 detained in hospitals. Yeah. So, as well, about of all this repression and 844 people uh, injured, Tear gas was fired into polling stations and rubber ballots, which by the way they are banned and illegal in Catalonia, were uh, fired. All shows um, a level of repression, violence and a state reaction absolutely comparable with Franco era. Uh, the situation after the vote has gotten even worse. Now we have half of the Catalan ministers in jail and the other half in exile. Officials and civil servants dismissed and under threat of imprisonment. Imprisonment, sorry. The elected Catalan government has been suspended and the Spanish state has taken over the, run, the, the running of Catalonia. So, we are here to say that after all this happened, nothing has changed. The UK government has done nothing. And here we have our lovely Prime Minister Theresa May, you know, welcoming Rajoy. We're here to say Rajoy is not welcome. We're here to condemn repression and violence and police brutality happen in the 1st of October in Catalonia. We're here to demand freedom for all the political prisoners. And as well, that we're here to say that the democratic right of the Catalan must be respected. Regardless of our personal posture about independence, say yes or no, if you agree to Catalonia being another country or being part of Spain, regardless of what you think about it, uh, we are here all together to fight against Rajoy and to fight against repression and to stand for the right of democracy. Thank you.